Why, hello there, my name is Renzi, and welcome back to the Arctic SMP. Now, if you see right behind me, technically in front of me now, I have a bunch of maps and item frames, and that's because we're gonna, we're gonna start out by mapping out the rest of this, so we can, you know, get on with the planned expansion. So now, of course, we are just going to grab all of these, and then we are going to figure out where all these go. I'm probably going to start off very simply just going from this house right here, going back there, and filing the map that way. Uh, I might copy the same map twice, luckily I have lots of maps to spare. So right back here, this should be... should be one. I, th I think? Did I go a little far? I think I did the, the thing I was trying to avoid. We'll fill that in fully though, just like that, and then we'll go back here and fill it in. Like, like that. Yeah, okay, so I've, I've already messed up a little bit. I can go get another map though. And one extra map, all for me. And, uh, yeah, so from that house go that way, then we're just gonna, we're gonna figure it out. And, uh, that's another. Then we need what's right here. And this one goes about right here. Oh. Oh no, that's not right. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Yeah, there we go. So, <laughs> we have a few more to do. I, uh, I've, I've taken pictures of, of multiple maps. This one's just blank. Yeah, so I think that goes there. Why are these blank? Is this a copy? No, that one goes right there, but I need to fill out that little corner piece and figure out where these go. And landing right back here, I think I have fixed my, uh, my issue. I think I've accidentally made multiple copies. That, that's my bad. So we're gonna get, need to fix this map and then gonna get this corner right here. Alright, so... This one should go right there, and that should go right there. Awesome. And now we need these three, which I think is going to be the most difficult, just because I haven't really been over here and it's just, you know, a white expanse. Alright, I am hoping to have gotten it. I'm flying back now. Here's to hoping I did this right. Um... Something tells me I didn't. My little dot's not even on that map. Uh, so I think this goes here? Yes, I believe so. It looks right. And now we gotta figure this bit out. I need to go get another map. Alright, this should do it. Oh, what is this? Alright, I don't think this is the right piece of the map. Oh, this is difficult. This is... this is difficult. I can do this. Oh, ta-da! I have done it. Honestly, it's a lot more difficult than I expected. Uh, but now looking at this map, you can see all the area I have to work with. I think I want to stick to like right here so I have like all of this because I believe this gets cut off by a river right down here. I think this is all connected. And then it does loop all the way around. So I have very clear space that I can safely assume is mine. So we might use all of this, we probably won't, uh, but that is what I have to work with. Um, so I did a thing, I expanded the map because I didn't like how it was cut off at the bottom. Now you can see the, the, um, the, 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 the gunpowder farm. The village is now further up there, but now you can see the entirety of the area we're working with. Uh, if you remember, all that time ago, I had the big stone statue thing set up all the way over there. And I think I do want to take a little piece of that and set it up over here, just kind of a memento of... It was going to be over there, and now it's over here. I don't know. Something like that. However, before we get to the whole expansion thing and work on some of the trees and that big old stone statue... I need to deliver things 
to another server member because they're working with villagers and they are oh so out of golden apples. So, um, go cut to that. Why, hello there. Hello. I- oh, I have an ink sack. Yeah. Mother, would you like a, uh, an ink sack? Sure. I trade them with mine. <laughs> it's on- it's on the floor. So what do you think? I like it. Good house. It's, um, it's one of the, um, it's like one of the natural ones in the- In the alpine. In the alpine. Yep, in the taiga. I have a gift for you. Dude, stay out of the water. <laughs> Uh, they don't- they don't want to. Oh, there he goes. Alright, you may look- you may look at your gift. Yay! You have many- you have many much golden apples. Thank you. Now I just gotta get all the- All the villagers situated enough so you can zombie them. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I just need to make one more bed to put in that little house. I don't have a bed for you. Uh, I got all sorts of wool. I'm just trying to decide what color I should make it. Um, lime green. <laughs> uh, can I do that? I mean, you should be able to. It's just white and dark green, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, mind monsters. Oh, there, there, why? There's many. Oh, that one has a shovel and pan. So the villagers no longer come in my house. Well, yeah, the last one that did kind of got eaten. He got himself zombied. And I made a little swing, a little sitting area by my pond. Oh, it's a little bench. I can't sit. No. Why is this one sideways? Um, mistakes were made. Do you want that fixed? Well, yeah. Yeah, I just, I goofed. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, that was no. No, this is fine. I I just I messed it up worse than you did. Wait, can I? Oh, yes. I I would like some scaffolding. I got to be. I didn't know I had to be like on top of it to. Thank you. All put out. Would you like your scaffolding back? Please. Oh, and there's the bed. Yep. Awesome. Well, this is- this is all I came here to do. Thank you. Farewell. And, uh, and that was that past interaction. But luckily for me, I also got her to agree to help me build some of the houses that we are going to use to expand the village. I have a few sort of planned out, like, general shape and location, but of course we're gonna have them all around the village. And then some more towards where the large hand is going to be, gonna terraform some of this as well. And so we're gonna wait for her to come here so she can help us with this. And we are going to go into a time lapse. Alrighty, dude, you ready? And just like that, all of this is done. Now, this took a good few hours, so a lot of it was cut down from the video, uh, but now this bridge does not go to nowhere, it in fact goes to the other side of, I guess, the other side of the village? There, it's not really a side yet. And you could just walk around this side of the house. It's the thought that counts. Lovely house made by Sarf.
Uh, 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it. Goes with the village perfectly. Uh, the my itty bitty houses, which, you know, can't actually hold all that much. The, the way that the doorway is reminds me of, like, an alleyway. Like a small apartment. That's what this is. Uh, but yeah, and then we j just got a little chicken pen, and I added some horses over here, and what I eventually want to do is add a barn and a little silo over here. You can see where I've been terraforming a little bit, just to kind of smoothen the terrain. Uh, and then the other house over here, which, I when I first started it, it looked a bit awful. Like, the way I did the walls, I mixed spruce wood in there with the brown terracotta, and it just didn't look nice, so I'm glad I changed that. It looks much better now. Uh, very happy with how all of this turned out. Uh, but if we run, run, run back over here, I'm gonna need to put all of these materials away. Uh, and then this box over here is gonna go to the big statue I want to build further back that way. Probably get that done next episode. Got a lot of things to think about, got a lot of things to do, you know? Uh, but while we were offline, or rather while I wasn't recording, uh, we have added yet another hot air balloon. Don't know what this one's purpose is. Don't know what either of those purposes is, though. It's just kind of there. And just like that one, there's a little parrot aboard this one. You can't really see it, though. Let me fly over. There he is. I need a name for all of the parrots. Like, there's one over there, there's one here, and there's one in the ship down here. I feel like all these little parrots need an owl. I feel like all these little parrots need names. They're like captains of their own little, little airships. Uh, and then just got a little beetroot patch down here. Going into this little garden berry bush patch area. So kind of like this house is the garden house. What we need to do is update this map. So hopefully just holding it. Yeah, it'll update. Or not. We gotta go over there to update it. There we go. Quick and easy fix. All updated. And a few things have changed on the server since I uh, last recorded, which was not too, too long ago. Uh, we ended up getting some data packs on the server. Uh, so we have some really neat things now. I don't have it to show you with me. Just to spice up the, the vanilla experience a little more. Uh, for For example... Enderman kept stealing all of the blocks on the terrain, placing it all over the ice. It was very, very inconvenient. I might be able to find an example of it. I might have cleaned it all up. But yeah, the Enderman were placing stuff all over the ice. It was very annoying, very inconvenient. Uh, one of the things that the data pack does is turn off Enderman griefing, not anything else. Creepers will still explode, blow up the terrain. Uh, but Enderman will not just move things around because they feel like it. Uh, the last straw for me with the Enderman was them taking a block of dirt and then placing it on top of a tree. I don't know why it did that, it just kinda did. But while fixing that, we also got some neat new stuff, such as these little heads, and I love them, I think they're adorable. Uh, we can get like mini blocks and stuff from wandering traders, like that's where I got these. Uh, and we also have, now get ready for this. Mob heads. This is Mr. Salmon. This is Salmon Man. I made a whole outfit for him. And the boots are enchanted with Depth Strider. I wonder if we can enchant the like the salmon head itself so I can have respiration. I'm assuming the answer is no. But it never hurt to try. It. Well, yeah, no, we can't. Okay. Well, I guess Salmon Man will drown. It's fine. Worse things have happened than fish drowning. So now I just gotta put all of this away. And let me, uh, let me do that real fast. And there we go. All organized, all put away. You can see all of these shulkers are back where they belong. Uh, and you know, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, and I think that means that it, my friends, I can't get up here. My friends! It's tree time. And 
there we go, two slightly smaller than usual trees. Or smaller than the large ones I made. They're a bit wonky, they're a bit wobbly, you know, but they're great. Uh, but unfortunately for all of us, this, this, this is it, this is the end of the video. Uh, and, and so thank you all so much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure having you here, and I will see you all next time. This is Renzi, signing out.